Welcome back, and your timing is great. We are joined this morning by a good friend of ours on this show, Salman, nominated musician Jared Ricketts. He was nominated in the Best Pop Album category for his brilliant debut album, Break the Rules, and he's been breaking the rules ever since. He's going to be performing at Cafe Rue this weekend, and here is just a little taste of what you can expect. Searching for the cure to make it better Praying on my knees, now I remember You are my provider, you are my salvation Risen from the cross to conquer every nation Unconditional, you love me, the Bible tells me so You cast away the enemy for everyone to know Oh, we love it. We've been able to see the journey firsthand. He's been a part of our journey. Yes. And we have loved every step of it. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Mr. Jared Ricketts in the house. Yay! Hello, South Africa. Oh, we great. love you, Guy, man. So Thank good to so see much. you, my friend. Um, especially after you've been cavorting around the world recently sure. in Europe, performing, living life with your gorgeous wife. Yeah. What was that like? It was amazing. Listen, to see um, so many different parts of Europe has always been a dream of mine. To stand in front of the Eiffel Tower was absolutely amazing. And to do it with the one you love is even better. So, um, Did yeah. it live up to expectation? Listen, Europe's very expensive. <laughs> Let me tell you that much. Especially now, brother. You Yo, it's a great time idea to go but when you realize you're paying nine rand just to go to the toilet yeah yeah no you think it, it's it's tough out there if you're traveling anywhere but I'm glad that you got to experience the world because this is going to color your your performances and I mm -hmm. think you you have one of the most eclectic kind of ranges because you can pretty much do anything let's be honest that this tool that you have there, this incredible vocal talent, allows you to do anything. Thank you. Um, and we love the fact, because I get to see you perform all of these amazing songs. So, that being said, what can someone expect from a performance? So, if someone's coming to Café Rue, what will they get out of an experience with Jared Ricketts? Because it's very difficult to explain musically what goes on in one of your shows, man. Listen, I, I love music first and foremost, and I don't really tie myself to one specific genre. So when you do come to one of my shows, including this one happening this weekend, you can expect to hear different sounds, you know, from old school, even swing music, straight to what's happening currently. Some of your favorite songs, some of my original music. Um, for me, my shows are always about how can you make people feel better? How can you yeah. give a sense of escapism? And I, I really like uh, pleasing different ears. So um, I always look forward to, to, to um, creating sounds on the stage that, that resonates with different people. For me, I just love when you dip into some old school rock or something, because I think people don't necessarily hear that in your voice. And when yeah. you let that beast out, it's like, oh, my I love word. Queen. I love Queen. Exactly. Yeah. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about yeah. that. <laughs> That's so funny. When you, when you talk about making people want to feel good about yeah. themselves, if I could kind of distill your life's mission, it's probably that. Yes. It's in every facet. And you're doing it on so many different levels and different directions. What are the projects that have got you most excited at the moment? While my MPO of the Jared Ricketts Foundation, where we go out and do a lot of community work, that has been the highlight of uh, last year, this year, and the year before since it's uh, been uh, originated. We've, we, we've uh, been able to, to affect communities positively. And that's, Brilliant. I think as a singer, you always just think, oh, I'm behind a microphone, that's what I do. But we all have a platform, and, and when we can do something good with it, I think um, you can do great things. So. Uh, round this off very quickly. I know we're going to have three performances mm -hmm. from you this morning, but with the focus on social media, obviously you've chosen to play around in that space and you yes. have a bit of fun on TikTok. How do you keep it a safe place? How do you disconnect from the negative side of social media? Maybe one tip for someone who's probably maybe a little too connected to their social media platforms. What advice do you have? Sure. Uh, I think first and foremost, um, you know, you are always in control of the information that you put out into the world. Uh -huh. So just remember that. And also, it's, it's, it's a different side of reality. Yeah. So it's, it's a window, it's a marketing space. So understand that these social media platforms are created for brands to, to, no. to advertise to you. <laughs> yeah. And so I think when you remember that, you understand that there's that reality and then there's my reality. And, and it's good to, to create spaces that like that that are different because you need your off time, eyes off of screens yeah. so that you can get uh, 
your peace of mind at the end of the day and, and to remain calm. I know so many people have seen a spike in anxiety because yeah. of social media. Um, the standards they put upon themselves to, 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 to look a certain way yeah. and be a certain way. And I'm so excited to see our influences here today because um, they're talking about living healthy and, and, and taking that time away I think is very important. For me and Kim, uh, it's important that we just... Um, understand that that's one aspect of the brand and building a brand in a business, but there is our lives and there's certain things that can remain private, that can stay yours. That are just uh, for you. Correct. Too. I love that. And I'm certainly discovering that in my own um, wedding and, and married life. Too, yes. As well, um, one thing's for sure that you can take a couple of weeks off social media and the crazy thing is, nothing changes. Come so on. Just disconnect for a little while. Jared ain't going nowhere. Three performances coming your way.